ask him to touch you afresh in this season of fasting. Lord, touch me afresh. Touch my family. Touch my house, O oh God. Touch my children, O oh God. Lord, touch me afresh, Lord. In this season of fasting, Jehovah, touch me afresh, Lord. Lord, touch me afresh. Touch me afresh, O God. Touch me afresh. Touch me afresh, Jesus. In this season of fasting, Lord, touch me afresh, Jehovah. Touch me afresh, O God. Touch me. Touch me afresh, O God. Touch me afresh, Jesus. Touch my family. Touch everything pertaining to me, Lord. Touch me, Lord. Touch my life in this season of fasting. Touch me, Lord, afresh. Every area of my life. Touch my destiny. Touch my career. Touch my ministry. Touch the work of my hands. Touch me afresh, O Lord. Touch me afresh, Jesus. In this season of prayer and fasting, Lord. Touch me afresh. I shall not miss your touch, Lord. In Jesus' name. Keep your hands up. Lord, I receive grace for prayer and fasting. Fasting. These 21 days. In these 21 days. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and ask. Lord, I receive grace in this season of prayer and fasting. Of prayer and fasting. I receive grace, O oh Lord. I receive grace in these 21 days prayer. of prayer and fasting. I receive grace, O oh Lord. I receive grace, Jesus. Grace to pray. Grace to fast. Grace to partake, O oh Lord. I receive grace in this season. In these 21 days of prayer and fasting, Lord. I receive grace. I receive grace. I receive grace. I receive grace, O Lord. In this season of prayer and fasting. I receive grace to fast. I receive grace to pray. I receive grace to fast. I receive grace to pray in the name of Jesus. Aprusha katala rababonda. Ma prosa tiria ma kafaya. I receive grace. I receive grace. I receive grace to pray. I receive grace. Satoria makama. Ma shota la rababotia. Grace to fast in the name of Jesus. I receive grace. I receive my father, my father. My father, my father. These 21 days. Twenty-one days. Visit my foundation. Visit my foundation. Visit my foundation. Visit my foundation. Can you add fire to that prayer? My father, my father. I pray in these twenty-one days of prayer and fasting. Visit my foundation. Visit my foundation. Visit now. In these twenty-one days of prayer and fasting. Visit my foundation. Lord, visit my foundation. My father, my father, in this twenty-one days, my father, my father, in this twenty-one days, a prayer and fasting. Visit my foundation. Visit Visit my foundation, so long. A Shake my foundation, Lord. Visit my foundation, Lord. Shake my foundation, Lord. Visit my foundation, Lord. In these 21 days, Lord. Visit my foundation. 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 My father, my father. I can't buy a in this 21 days of prayer and fasting, visit my foundation. Visit my foundation. Visit my foundation. Visit my foundation. Visit my foundation.
I'd like you to do something my daughter has said. Please just impart some grace to your neighbor for 21 days of prayer and fasting. Just tell them, receive grace for 21 days of prayer and fasting. Receive grace. You may be seated. I have observed that any time we are in a season of prayer and fasting, mighty breakthroughs and testimonies take place. I pray that this time you shall register your own. Amen. That amen, God cannot accept it. Let me pray for you. I pray that you shall register your testimony. Amen. Prayer and fasting is is not just a scriptural issue. It is actually a spiritual issue. You know, those are two different things. Something can be spiritual, but not scriptural. But it cannot be scriptural without being spiritual. Let me repeat myself. Probably didn't understand me. Something can be spiritual but not scriptural. But it cannot be scriptural and not be spiritual. So fasting is not just a scriptural thing, it's also a spiritual thing. That's why anyone who wants to engage in any spiritual exercise must observe fasting. So fasting is not really a scriptural thing. It's a spiritual thing. Yeah, you know, something can be scriptural. Something can be spiritual, but not scriptural. For instance, witches can fly in the air. Is that scriptural? But it's spiritual. Are you getting it? Somebody can consult cast spells on people. Is that scriptural? No, but it's spiritual. So fasting is not just a scriptural thing. It is also a spiritual thing. In other words, anyone who wants to engage spiritually in a more involving manner must align himself through the practice and the discipline of fasting. Okay. Yeah. You can't go far in spiritual matters without engaging the discipline of fasting. You can't go far. So I encourage all of us to faithfully engage. Faithfully engage. And the Lord gave me wisdom so that everyone can be able to participate. This first week is very light. You just break at 12. Is that difficult? Not difficult. What I'm just telling you is that this first week, skip breakfast. That's all. Okay? And then next week, uh, push it a little further. Even if you want to have lunch, have it at three. Okay? Then last week, now your system will have caught up. We can at least do six to six. And the last week, we'll be in church every day of those last seven days for heavy spiritual warfare and alignments in the spirit. So these two weeks, we'll just do a normal program. But the last week, we are in church every evening, 6 to 8, just to engage. 
This is mid-year fasting. What you do now will determine how the next six months of your life will be. It's in the spirit that things happen, not in the physical. So these 21 days, you can program the next six months of your life. Because in the realm of the spirit, there is no time or distance. It is your investment. It's your spiritual investment that determines how the physical realm, you know, answers back to you. So take these 21 days seriously. They determine how the year will be. These 21 days. And, you know, scripture says, better the end of a thing. Yeah, so all of us will endeavor to finish well. Glory to God. But to finish well, we have to prepare for it. We have to program it. And that's why we are doing the media fasting. Okay. You handle what will happen in October, these three weeks. You handle what will happen in November, these three weeks of fasting. You handle what will happen in December, these three weeks of fasting. You handle it. You, you, you invest spiritually to reap in the physical realm. Nobody should take these 21 days lightly. These are days of giving ourselves wholly to these things. That our profiting may be with all to all. Is, this is a month of denial. And I thank God for the cold. It's part of denial. Yeah. Whether it's against you, you also deny yourself. It's time to deny your sleep, deny yourself food, pleasure. Yeah. It's a month of discipline. We are sowing in the spirit. And the Lord shall give us grace. Amen. How many are ready for these 21 days? Sure. Okay. Let me see your hand again. You're ready for this 21 days. Wow. Now, I also thank God because the prophetic focus is foundational deliverance, which again is something very important. In fact, I just want to lay a foundation this morning of the things that you and I should focus on the next 21 days. Listen, in my years of serving God, little, 20 plus, little years, but even if you're working with the government, 20 years experience is not small. True or false? In my little experience in the spirit, I've discovered that there is a dimension and realm you can't cross if foundational spirits have not been dealt with. Whether you are a pastor, whether you are a chef, whether you are a driver, a doctor, th there is just that thing that if you attempt to cross that realm without dealing with some foundational issues, there will be a reaction. And this warfare, the mystery about it is that no one graduates. There is no day you're going to get where you're saying that no battle to fight, no nothing. It's now, we're just cruising. Mm -mm. Uh, the man of God, Dr. Kumui, is in his 80s now. He is still doing crusade. He is still casting out demons. He is still doing warfare. Kumui, doctor. The other day I saw Papa Deboe in Israel still doing Bible study and prayer meeting. What has that man not seen? He is still doing it. My own father, the Lord, still observe fasting days. 
Preparation for Shiloh has already started. We are in, uh, which, in, in July. Preparation for Shiloh started as early as April. Prayers and fastings and investments in the spirit to focus on what will come in December at that level of ministry. Copeland still fast till today. The Believers Convention in the last week of this month, preparation started in January. And people are still praying and fasting and spending time in meditation. At that level of ministry, we cannot outgrow this thing. We can't outgrow these things. I mean, what have those men of God not seen? They have seen everything. But the moment you slack in your spiritual exercises at that time, because Satan does not sleep. I told you of a story of a 70-year-old pastor. Is it, was it in church or were having lunch? It was in church. Huh? How at 70, he had kept himself served God, bishop of churches, at 70, at 70, fornicated with a 21-year-old girl who had come for counseling. 70. And while he was on top of that girl, the sister opened the door. 70. Only to find that in his foundations, there had issues of polygamy and all that. So all those demons were waiting for him just to slack one day and then they strike. How many old men are begging in the village now who used to have money and position? But today, if their children don't send them money, they can't eat. You know them. You know that your uncle. You know that your brother. You know, you, maybe even it's your father. All those are foundational issues. And if we don't deal with them now, my brothers and sisters, please listen to me. You know, Noah was sent and talked about the ark for 100 years. No one listened to him. It was only yesterday that uh, I was telling my wife, you know, I think, uh, I think I have a gift. Uh, let me not say I think. I believe. Okay, I know. I don't know which one to use. I have a gift of foresight. I'm one man who can start talking something that will happen the next 10 days, 10 years, 10 weeks. And that thing comes to pass. And I'm not, I don't even say that says the Lord. I think now my antecedent with the things I've shared in the past, both at a family level and ministry level, and even my spiritual brothers, they have started appreciating that I have that gift. I can see something that will happen in the next 10 years and start adjusting it now. There are things I spoke, my own family now, uh, I mean Joseph Matko, brothers and sisters, not, not, not spiritual. Though. Before even my father passed on. Yesterday, I was, we had fellowship and uh, this week we've received quite a number of calls on the things that I shared then. And nobody listened. Uh, I mean, I didn't even say that says the Lord. But I kept voicing them again and again. I said, watch this, oh, watch this, oh, uh, watch this, oh. So when some of these things came to attention this week, I told my wife, without apology, I will not involve myself. I can't be crying for 10 years then after now, this is the time now you're facing the music and you want me to get involved. Never. I have serious things to do. You know, uh, is it Mike Maddock who said, uh, I think it's Mike, one of them he said, you should learn to allow people to carry their consequences. Yeah. Sometimes, let people face the music, they will know how to dance. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you just have to allow people to go through because sometimes the hearts of men are very hard. They can only learn through affliction. That's what David said. It says, before I was afflicted, I went astray. It says, but now, I keep thy law. And that's why I keep telling you, because the day Noah closed the door, anyone who repented was late. Flood was already there. 
So much as God forgives, what I've realized is that God forgives sins, but the consequences of your ignorance will catch up with you. Will catch up with you. Some of my pastor friends, and some of them even know them, this is the time they're seeking for me privately to teach them foundations. Imagine. Why in Lanza Fonsa Foundation been? How many years have I been teaching foundation? Some of them now, they are calling me privately for Bible study. And they are not even giving me offering. I say, my brother, let, let's look at this thing. What exactly do you mean? They are hunting. When I was crying these things, they say that we are of new life. If everyone is in Christ Jesus, we are, there is. Ah, the pepper they are seeing now. They realize this new life is not as new as they thought. <laughs> now, God has given you an opportunity again to handle this thing. I pray you will not miss it this time. Oh, I said, I pray you will not miss it this time. Oh. Praise God. Let's look at an old text. It's old in your mind, but it's fresh in scripture. I, I just, this morning, my spirit in my meditations, I just want to, I don't know, I, I, I feel like I'm somebody collecting pieces together so that I can start building this house in the next three weeks. So I'll be speaking this morning instructively. Uh, advisedly. I, I, I'm just trying to organize your spirit to understand where we are going because it's a journey. It's a 21 days journey. Again, I encourage, try not to miss any service, whether online or on ground, so that we can be together. You know this thing is line upon line. What I say today, what I'll say on Tuesday, what I'll do on Wednesday is building up. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah, it's, it's a build up. So let, 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 let's grow together. Don't allow just to, you know, in between the journey to fall by the wayside. If you only attend service, Sunday service, you really miss a lot. These, these are not the series whereby it's only on Sunday. No. Not at all. Not at all. Praise God. Praise God. You need to be consistent for these 21 days until something breaks forth in the spirit. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, let's just look at this Psalm 11, 3. Let's start from verse 1, 2, and 3. It's an old text, but I want us to look deeply into it. It's Andrew Womack who taught me that even if you know a verse, go back to it and read it again. All right. Psalm 11, verse number 1, verse number 2, and verse number 3. Sir? Psalm 11, verse 1. Yes. In the Lord put I my trust. In the Lord put I my trust. How say ye to my soul? Yes. Flee as a bird to your mountain. Flee as a bird to your mountain. Verse 2. Verse 2. For lo. Lo. The wicked bend their bow. The wicked bend their bow. They make ready their arrow upon the stream. Yes, sir. That they may privately shoot at the upright in heart. They may privately. Yes, yes. Shoot at the upright in heart. Yes. Verse 3. If the foundations be destroyed. Can you read verse 3 together? All of us want to go. If the foundations be destroyed, uh -huh. what can the righteous do? Can you read it as if you have life in you? If the foundations be destroyed, uh -huh. what can the righteous do? One more time. If the foundations be destroyed, yes. what can the righteous do? Can you close your eyes and read it from your heart? If the foundations be destroyed, yes. what can the righteous do? If the foundations 
be destroyed. It says even the righteous will face battles. Now, let's look at several scriptures on this. In Matthew chapter the tree that the father has not planted, chapter is it 14 or chapter 15? Chapter 15 verse 13. Matthew chapter 15 verse 13. Are we together? The teaching grace upon me this morning, so I'd like you to follow me very, very keenly. We have started with foundations. Right now, Jesus made a statement. Matthew chapter 15, verse 13, he said, Every plant. Another version talks about trees. Every plant or every tree that the Father has not planted, look at it, it says, shall be rooted out. Rooted out. Every plant that the Father has not planted shall be rooted out. And remember, men are like trees. Put that somewhere. The Bible says we shall be a planting of the Lord. <laughs> We're going to have a nice time this morning. Every plant that the Father has no planted shall be done what? Rooted out. Rooted out. Go to chapter 13. Say Matthew. Verse 25. Don't allow your mind to wander this time. Uh -uh. You know, we are at a very sensitive place in the spirit this morning. The purity of God's word and the preciseness of his spirit is present in this service. So don't miss it. Don't miss it. I'm so confident that if all follow the instructions that I give these 21 days, I'm so confident in my heart there shall be a harvest. Amen. And that's why God spoke to us during crossover and he said, we shall be crowned. Amen. Remember? Yes. With what? Glory. With glory. Because the epitome of deliverance is honor. Amen. If you have successfully dealt with some powers, what shall be seen on you is not the battle. No, it is a crown. It is a honor. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Anyone who has shame and reproach and all things is a sign that he has not been successful in battle. But when you see outward glory, it is a sign that there has been private victories in the spirit. You shall be crowned. You shall be crowned. You shall be crowned. You shall be crowned. With glory Amen. and honor. Amen. Come on, I shall be crowned. I shall be crowned. With, glory with glory and honor. I shall be crowned. 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 With glory and honor. Hallelujah. Alright, so we have started with foundations, then we've gone to the plant. Now, in chapter 13, verse 25, let, let, let's just build our case here in the spirit. Matthew chapter 13, verse 25. Matthew 13, 25. But while men slept, when men slept, his enemy came, his enemy came, and sowed tears among the wheat. Now, he sowed tears among the wheat and went his way. All right, but when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tears, the tears also. Now, look at verse 27. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tears? 
verse 28 want to go everyone say it unto them uh -huh. an enemy has done this an enemy has done this an enemy has done this. An enemy has done this. An enemy has done this. What did he do? He planted tears. Now remember, he said the tree that the father has not planted. They shall be it shall be what? Now notice verse 13, it was a seed. But by, by chapter 13, by, by chapter 15, it was a tree. The mystery of ancestral battles is that if you don't handle them today, they become stronger tomorrow. I don't know if you are getting it. But for instance, if it was difficult, there was a pattern in your family of women not getting married. If nobody does something about it, it may get to a place whereby it's not only marriage, they're not able to conceive. The, the seed has become a tree. Let's look at it. Verse chapter 13, it talks about seed. Chapter 15, it talks about tree. The thing has grown. Let's go to Genesis chapter 1. Chapter, chapter 2, sorry. Genesis chapter 2. I, I, I'm just building my case. Are we getting blessed? Genesis chapter 2. Get me the verse that says, Now the serpent was more subtle. Chapter Chapter 3, verse 1. All right. Chapter 3, verse 1. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Now the serpent was more subtle. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, the serpent said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, he shall not eat of every tree of the garden. It's a very interesting thing. It's a talking serpent. Can you imagine a snake entering your house and is talking to you? Huh? The serpent said, <laughs> is Bible I'm reading? Oh, please don't look at me as if it's a revelation I'm giving. No, it is direct scripture. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said, the serpent said to the woman. But in Revelation, is no longer a serpent. In Revelation, it says the dragon. So what happened between Genesis and Revelation? The thing grew. If you don't start handling foundational battles now, the battle that your children will face will be very different. I want to pray for somebody here whose ancestral battles have matured and they want to attack you this month. But the oil of God over my head, you shall be exempted. 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 All right. Now let's 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 go deeper. These 21 days, what are the things I want us to focus on? Just, just give me your attention. Now. Number one, understand. That spiritual things determine physical events. Write that one in capital letters if you come. There is nothing that happens physically that has no roots 
spiritually. Physical things are controlled by spiritual events. Don't forget that. For instance, it is now that things are changed. They will not change tomorrow because we are in a spiritual plane. This you are declaring, you are praying, you are sowing seed. All these things are spiritual things that now will determine what will happen to you physically. Number two, the time zones of the spirit world are very different from the time zones of the physical world. Very different. Something can happen in the spirit now that will manifest in the next three months. Are, 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 are you done? The time zones in the spirit are different from the time zones. Okay, for instance, Pastor, there's that verse I was sharing with you about, is it Psalm 102? Deliver those who are appointed for death. Let's, let's look at that verse. I just want to show you how time zones in the spirit are very different from time zones in the physical. And that's why what we are doing these 21 days determine what will happen in the next six months. It is not in October that you know you'll finish well. It is in July. If you can get a breakthrough this month, you don't need to worry about the rest of the year. So it's not tomorrow that we know. It is today. Hello? It's today. For instance, I'm not coming to this service. I did not come to this service believing that God will bless you. It is yesterday in my prayer that I handle the service. Amen. Are you catching the flow? Amen. It is in the spirit. And that's what, for example, listen to this. Listen to this. Just, just, just cut the flow. When I'm praying for the service, I don't pray and say, Lord, bless the service. Lord, mm -mm. Lord in prayer, I'm in the service. Thank you for blessing them. Thank you for touching them. Lord, heal the sick now. So I'm not praying, Lord, when I get the service, heal the sick. Mm -mm. The service is on in the spirit. Oh Lord, when I open my mouth, Lord, speak through me. Na lie. My mouth is open in prayer. That is the time I'm preaching. What I'm doing now is what I did. There are prayers I will teach you these 21 days. I think you're mature now to enter that realm. On how to pray in the spirit to program the physical. Because anytime you pray and say, oh Lord, do it. Oh Lord, you shall do it. You, you're not in the spirit. You come out of the... Because in the realm of the spirit, there is no yesterday, there is no tomorrow. Everything is in the now. That's why it says, now faith is not will be. The confusion comes with the time zones. I'm trying to explain that second point. Because you say, now I'm blessed. But then the physical, you're like, which, I mean, I'm sure God will do it. Mm -mm. If he has not done it in the spirit, through your mouth and your involvement in prayer, it will not happen in the physical. But now you need the wisdom and the understanding to know that it has happened. Now the earth realm or the physical realm has to align. Those are two different things. And that's why now between prayer and answer, you need the walk of wisdom. I know it has happened. In the realms of the spirit, spiritual time zones has already passed it. Now it is the Holy Ghost to order my steps in the physical so that I can collide with my breakthrough in the physical realm. Those are two different things. Now, for instance, look at this Psalm uh, 102. Abby? All right. Psalm 102. 
Let, let, let me show you difference of time zones in the spirit and the physical. I, I, I want to put this understanding for you to know that what you're doing these 21 days will determine what will happen the next six months. You can confidently say, I'm finishing the year well. If you confidently go through these 21 days and get assurance of breakthrough. You can't. I'm telling you. Right? Now, look at that. Some what? Psalm 102 verse 20. Can you have it on the screen? or Psalm 102 verse 20. Psalm 102 verse 20. Psalm 102 verse 20, yes. To hear the groaning of the prisoners. To hear the groanings of the prisoners. To lose. To lose those that are appointed. So it means there are people who are walking physically, but they're already dead. They're already appointed. In the physical, they are not sick. They are healthy. In fact, they have plans. For now, they will conclude the year. But they've already been marked. I pray for you. Every negative mark that is on your head. This month of July, it shall be erased. It shall be erased. It is erased by fire. Marks of poverty. Marks of losses. Marks of accidents. Marks of premature death. I arrest them in the name of Jesus. Now, he, the, <laughs> I'm a tired, I'm a Zoto. Now, this is this is the, this verse is a petition in the realm of the spirit for those who have been appointed to die. He says, deliver those. He says to hear the groaning of the prisoner. So somebody has already been caged by the spirit of death. And inter Moses is interceding for them. This song was written by Moses. He's interceding. He said, those who have been appointed for death, Lord, deliver them. But the people are walking on earth. Healthy, strong, they don't know anything. You see, when something is initiated in the realm of the spirit, the physical has no choice but to conform. Whether that thing is positive or that thing is negative. That's why I strongly believe you can change things in the spirit in these 21 days. You can change any negative pattern in your father's house, in your mother's house, and you can be delivered from that evil marking. You can be delivered. Amen. Time zones are different. Time zones are different. If you want to be successful in life, never focus on what is happening in the physical. Why are you fasting? Somebody may ask, uh -uh, you are fasting for the first one week. Has anything happened? Sometimes even when you're skipping meals, you may, a, a, a thought may come, what is this for now? As I'm fasting, my husband is bringing issues. This is the time we're arguing the most. What is it for? Yes. Yes. You know why? There's a conflict in the spirit. I don't know how many have noticed that sometimes when you fast, you keep having evil dreams. How many have? Come on. Am I talking to myself? Or How many have noticed sometimes when you actually you have fasted and you have prayed, ukilala, the things you will see, do you know why? There is conflict. Before you fasted, you could not see because you're blind. Now that you're fasting, the veil has been removed. What you're seeing in the dreams is the conflict that has been there all along. Time zones are different. Number three. The strongest force in human life 
the strongest force in human lives are altars. The strongest force in human lives are altars. Altars determine destinies. Altars determine destinies. Altars determine destinies. Altars. An altar is a connection between your physical life and your spiritual life. That thing that connects your physical events and your spiritual activities, that thing is what we call an altar. An altar is the meeting point between spirits and humans. When spirits want to dine, to talk, to fellowship, to communicate, to interact with human or physical things, there must be an altar that allows spirits to come into fellowship or into contact with humans. In the same way, when humans want to contact spirits, there must be a connection to an altar. And an altar can be a person. An altar can be a place. An altar can be a thing. Men can be altars. Places can be altars. Things can be altars. Wow. When God wants to do anything in your life, there must be an altar. When Satan also wants to do anything in your life, there must be an altar that connects the invincible realm with the visible realm. Now, one of the strongest altars that control physical life or human life is ancestral altars. It's one of the strongest altars. And the more I keep sharing these things, the more I keep seeing, hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, there are stories if I give you, will say it's not true. By reason of the ministry God has given me, the things I hear. Hmm. Is it not somebody this Wednesday who had a dream this Thursday during counseling? In the dream, he was being shaved. He woke up in the physical, there was no hair at the back. This Thursday, I had that story. Not in a book, live. And the person is in this service looking at me now. My God. He slept or was being shaved. He woke up, there is no hair at the back. He even showed me, see, and I saw. My God. Thursday. It's not Du Bois Road days. Thursday. I didn't read the book from Lagos. Mm -mm. It is a miracle life. The person in this service is looking at me now. As a matter of fact, he's smiling. <laughs> My God. Eh? Or oh, you want to dim that dream? <laughs> eh? That thing that translated from dream to physical within hours, that water is very strong. The thing, has, there is no times on there, it has translated immediately. <laughs> that water must be very strong. Thank God that man is in this church. God must deliver everything about him. Amen. You know, the stronger the altar, the faster the conversion rate. If the altar fighting is very strong, you realize that the, the conversion from the spiritual realm to the physical realm is faster. 
kama wewe umeota usiku asubuhi una nywele that altar is very strong just touch here to confirm you are there <laughs> altars altars i was in uh, this place on langata road otende tende estate in langata i remember i went to pray for a family that been married for seven years and the wife could not take in seed seven they were not even born again the mother who could not sleep because of demonic attack so she was under very heavy medication she would spend 7000 a night on medication to sleep give her all sorts tell it and imagine with one touch she slept i was not even fasting i was eating this is what you call spiritual authority there are things you can fast for i can deal with them while eating three square meals that's why i'm your pastor and you are my members I'm standing and you are seated because <laughs> realms are different. You should clap for Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that everything you do I do. Pastor pray with me. I cannot pray with you. I can only pray for you. Pastor please pray with me. I can't pray with you. You're not the same realm. Yeah. When I say in the name of Jesus and you say in the name of Jesus we are talking from different realms. I know who I am. I am not the person who said that tuombe pamoja, tuamini Mungu, but we cannot believe God together. No. You can believe God together with your colleague, not with me. My own is to declare. Amen. That woman had not slept for. I mean that was her life. And with one touch she fell, I remember. And and slept well. You know, she slept and she fell and slept. I woke up and said, you can go and sleep now at home in the night. You, do, you don't need to take anything. Not true. She did not take anything. She's been sleeping all through. Her daughter was married to this guy who works in the bank, I remember. Six, seven years, they're not going in the foot of the I'm teaching about altars, Abi. So the woman requests, I say, a man of God, is it possible that, uh, you know, you can pray for my daughter, they are not able to. I say, no, I'll, I can come. I was an evangelist those days not like now. I said okay you can go. Those I think they're celebrating and that's I don't know what. So I remember we drove in in that estate or tent. Very good estate then. I don't know how it is now. And my god, it was I wish Pastor Rufus was with me then. I don't know how to preach to such forums. You know me I'm a man of laws. <laughs> I met people who were drinking or doing everything my god. I didn't know what to say. Oh. All right. Anyway, after some time they say man of God is here, he wants to talk to us and to pray for us. I shared very little thing. I can't even remember what I said but it was about the anointing and these are non believers. And I said whoever wants to get born again lift your hands. All the drunkards knelt down. <laughs> eh? While I was preaching they were chatting on phone so I'm not sure whether they had the message that's the mystery about the anointing people hear what they did not say they go born again and for real some of them are evangelists today but there's something I want to share so the couple now after that we enter the house they took me to certain room so i was talking to them so how long is it seven years man of god the ma- the husband who go born again drunk now he became very sober it's okay so you want kid uh, yeah one children seven years you know that they will be having arguments because of that they say no wala so i prayed in jesus name to be honest i didn't feel the anointing you know let me give you secrets of pastoring something you may not know Sometimes I will pray for you and I know nothing has happened but I will not tell you. So that I don't I don't discourage you. Amen. I say go go the Lord is with you. 
I'm telling you. Don't, don't be deceived by the shouting. The name of Jesus. Ndani najua nothing. But I'll tell you, keep on praying. God, God will do it. But there are those ones even without shouting when you touch, you know it has happened. The difference is the response of the anointing. I, I've been reading my book, It Takes the Anointing. Yeah, so I didn't feel an, okay, when the anointing speaks back to you is a sign there's a response. So there was no response. And the way they knew, because the testimony of their mother was like, mom now sleeps. Ah, this man who gave us babies. I prayed there was no response. But I told them, God will do it, God will do it, God will do it. So I said, can I use the washroom? Because I wanted to ask the Lord what is happening. I said, yeah, uh, this way, sir. So I enter washroom. I'm praying inside. So when I close the door, I prayed in tongues for me. Cash the table like, oh my, what is happening, Lord? But you have saved people here. Uh, this testimony of their mother. There is no response about this child that they want. Lord, nothing. When I walked out of the bathroom and I was washing my hands, there was a wall hanging there. The anointing responded. I'm washing my hands. Then there was a response. I looked at that wall hanging. I looked again. Then the anointing came on me. Hey, wall hanging. All right. So I cleaned myself. So we went back to the sitting room. I said, there's a wall hanging there. Uh, it's very nice. He said, yes, 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 uh, uh, Pastor. Now, the mother now, uh, the, 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 the mother of the couple, the, 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 the mother actually was the mother of the wife. Of the, 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 the couple that is the, the daughter. The mother is the one who brought me in. So she said, yes, yes. yes uh, hey, let her. Pastor Naitisha. <laughs> let her, let her Naitisha. I said, no, it's not that I want it. <laughs> it's not seed I'm looking for. I just like it. So the woman was like, no, no, no. no. Pastor, kipenda kitu mpatie. That woman, God bless her. She's retired now in the village. Anyway, so I said, no, it's not that I want it. Hey, but uh, where did you buy it? Ah, that's the time the story started. This wall hanging belonged to Sijui, the great grandmother of who it was handed over to the grandmother when she died, then to the mother, then to the son, who is the husband of the lady. So he said, it's very dear to me and to our family. That's the time my eyes open. I said, the womb is tied to that wall hanging. As long as you're with it, baby will not be born here. And even if you change woman, as long as you're carrying this thing, you will not be able to impregnate a woman. This is the altar. An altar can't be a thing. That's why there are some gifts that we receive that once they come to our hands, they tie our lives. Can I go deeper? Gehazi received gifts that were not gifts. The gifts were point of contact. And that's why Elisha said, don't take it. But when Gehazi took the gifts, in the gift, there was a transfer of leprosy and here is the point, not only to Gehazi, but to his sons. It was a generational thing. An altar can be a thing. An altar can be a place. An altar can be a person. Can I go deeper? Pastor Fred, let's scare them a little bit. With that story of that woman who married seven sons from one family. Yeah. There's a gentleman looking at me very scared. <laughs> I want to increase the fear so that you fast. Nonsense. You put it down. Darling, <laughs> you must enter heaven by fire. Are you catching the flow? Yes. 
There are people, once they enter into your life, some good things stop. Some breakthroughs stop. Those are the people that these 21 days, they shall be uprooted. That's why Jesus said the tree that the father has not planted. That tree are also people because the Bible says we are the planting of the Lord. So if God can plant people, Satan also can plant people. Are we there? Chapter what? Matthew. Matthew chapter 22. Chapter 22. Mm. Now look, look at how the, an altar can be a person. Matthew 22 verse 25. Are we there? Yes. You need to see it so that at least when you are praying some prayers, you will not think that I'm killing people for nothing. Some people must come out of your life. Amen. You didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. Amen. A lady, just as we are reading this verse, a lady came to me. She was working in the bank. She, I think she had two, three children. And then she conceived the third bone. She had two children conceived the third bone. When she conceived the third bone, she changed offices. So she changed bosses and all that. She said she lost three pregnancies and she did not know why. Only to realize after my teaching on radio that any time she got pregnant, the boss would be very good to her. It was an Indian. And would bring a lot of gifts. She lost the first baby. She lost the second baby. The third one, that's the time after my teaching, her eyes opened. That this many time I'm pregnant, this man is too good with many gifts. So, do you want us to pray for that boss to get born again? The Lord forgive your ignorance. You have killed two babies. You are looking for the third one. I think that's why it says, suffer not a witch to live. There are people these 21 days, the kind of destruction that will happen over their head, they will not, they will not, they will not, they will not attack you again. Look at it. Matthew 22. Look at this woman. Verse 25. Now, there were with us seven brethren. Hmm. And the first, when he had married a wife, diseased, and having no issue, left his wife and his brother. That means the man just left and died because he had no issue. There was no accident. There was no sickness. Look at it, having no issue. Died and left his wife and his brother. <laughs> Next verse. 26. Likewise the second also. And the third. Up to the seventh. Hey. One woman was sent to wipe out a family. One. One. Ate all the seven brothers. Look, look at the next verse. Verse 27. <laughs> And last of all, the woman also died. Hey. All she came was to wipe out that family. I'm praying for you. Whoever is sent to your family to wipe you out, to wipe your brothers, to wipe your sisters, they shall die! They shall die! They shall die! They shall die! Married the firstborn. The firstborn died without an issue. The, you know, my God, by the time it was the fifthborn, if I was there, I would say, I don't want this woman. Because anyone who marries this woman dies. They were all blind. We marry, we die. We marry, we die. We marry, we die. After the seventh one, while now they were meeting, what do you do with this woman? She also died. An altar can be a person. Are you understanding it? An altar can be a person. Let's go to Genesis 18. Let me show you something there. It is only naive people who everyone is their friend. 
Me, I don't have enemies. Just be at peace with people. You know, nonsense. Let me see how far you will go. You don't want enemies. Yet the Bible says, the Lord said to my God, sit. Until I make your enemies. You are only as powerful as the enemy confronting you. In Genesis chapter 18, we're talking about altars. The strongest force on earth that controls human destinies are altars. In Genesis chapter 18, look at verse 1. Verse 1, verse 1, sir. Genesis 18 from verse 1. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre. In the place of Mamre. And he sat in the tent. Now, in the notice, of the day. he said the Lord appeared. The Lord. Please notice. Underline that one. The Lord appeared unto him in the place of Mamre. And he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. Abraham was sitting outside his house. And the Lord appeared. But how did he appear? Verse 2. And he lifted up his eyes. And looked, and lo, three men. But the Lord is the one who appeared. Men are altars. Three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent, from the tent door. And bowed himself to the. He was worshipping men, but he was worshipping God. That's why any time you respect your man of God, you are respecting God. Because God will not come and say, I am God. He will send us. So we are walking all tasks. So you cannot purport that you honor the Lord if you don't honor your prophets. Look at it. And to know, no, no, very interesting now. In chapter 19, the Bible says two men enter Sodom. Look at that verse. Yeah. Two men. But there were three that came. But chapter 19, it says two men. So the third one was the son of God. Amen. Are, are you getting it? Mm. Have you found it? Yes. Genesis chapter 19, 19. verse 1. Mm. Now look at Genesis 18, 2. It says three men. Come on. Yes. Are we together? Yes. Genesis 19 verse verse, verse 1. Mm. It says, And there came two angels to Sodom at even. Mm. And Lord sat in the gate of Sodom. And Lord seeing them rose up to meet them. And he bowed himself. Can you see the same thing? He bowed himself. The way Abraham bowed. So these were the same visitors that came from Abraham. But there were two. They came to Abraham three. So the third one was an angel. And that's why chapter 13 of Hebrews says, do not forsake the habit of entertaining strangers. For some have done, have entertained angels without. Men are old. An altar can be a place. Let's look at a place now, Genesis 28. Are we progressing well? Can be a thing, can be a person, and now let's look at the altar can be a place. And this thing about a place, I want to encourage us to be praying from church these 21 days. There are things you'll encounter when you pray from an altar than when you're praying from the house. Are you catching the flow? An altar can be a place. An altar can be a... I remember a story. Comarok. This family, I went to pray for it. The woman told me that any time the father-in-law visits, no, the father-in-law, is it the man? Yeah, father-in-law, the, yeah, father-in-law, the father of the husband. Any time he visits, eh, the manhood of that man for three months does not work. Arguments, money disappears. And the man doesn't say and it doesn't have any, any evil intention. He just comes, sits down, and visit my children. How are you? They eat, KK, whatnot. He sleeps a day or two and then departs. The man, the woman told me the next three months, there will be no money, 
People will be coughing in this house. My husband will become Wende. You will catch that one after a few minutes. Eh? Joshua will become Wende. Cannot walk. Atajaribu generate a number footer. Money disappears. Yet the man never said anything. Never declared. He just entered the house, visited. It's only later that after spiritual living, we knew that the man consults. So when he entered that house, he entered with the spiritual entourage. All the demons that accompany him enter that house. I'm trying to keep telling you, dedicate your house. You don't want to listen. Say, I don't want visitors. Who even wants to come to your house? Even me, I don't want to come. Nonsense. Just dedicate it. Pastors will come. Oh, in Nairobi, to Funge Nyumba, you know visitors. No problem. You open the door to the ones that should not enter. And then you close the door to your pastors. I want to pray for you. That any evil foot that has entered your house, that has left an evil presence, by the power in the blood of Jesus, may your house be delivered now. 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 Men are altars. There are people when you meet, everything changes for the good. You shall meet such people, oh. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. You shall meet such people this week. Amen. Men who carry blessings shall appear your way. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, an altar can also be a place. Let's look at it. Genesis 28. Jacob was running away from Esau. Hello? And then, he got to this place, I think it's Bethel. Abi? And he decided to sleep there. In fact, the Bible says he took a stone for a pillow and slept. No fasting, no prayer. He was tired. But where he slept is where Abraham had raised an altar for the Lord. The Bible says the heavens opened. And Jacob himself said that the Lord is in this place and I know not. If you go to Kilimani today, where our church was, nothing has been able to be done there. Truffles. They tried to erect, this doesn't erect. They have made it a parking lot now. And some small Mabati tract, I don't know for what. We were in 680. And we had three casinos. Babylon. You, you remember? Yes. Yeah. What did we say? We said that our rod would swallow all the rods. Because an altar can be a place. And I dec you were there. I said there is no way we can be here. And we are casinos here. No. Casino one. Close down. Casino two. Close down. Casino three. Close down. That famous club that was opposite us. Close down. It's a parking lot today. We made that place an altar. And it began to control the environment. True or false? It's a living testimony. I'm not saying things. We did not write letters to anyone. We just handle things spiritually. We didn't even say one day. Casino C Babylon. Close down. Mm. The presence of God continued growing and taking over and growing and taking over until nothing that was anti-Christ could succeed in that hotel as long as I was there. Because don't forget, the strength of an altar is a priest ministering on that altar. Yeah. When we went to Du Bois Road, they said that no church has survived there more than seven, nine months. Church one closed. Church two closed. Church three belonged to a Congolese brother. In fact, the one we took over. 
true or false? And he came to me and told me, uh, man of God, just prepare for nine months. Don't invest much. I'm the third pastor here. This is my ninth month I'm living. Na ni metoka nendo umoja manake na juu hapa. Baada ya mezi tisa, hakuna kitu inendelea. True or false? Yes. Well, I say it, it depends. Your failure is not, is not my, my lesson that you have failed, not that I'll also fail. Na lie. No. You can fail, but I'll succeed where you failed. Because the strength of any altar is the priest. And not true. Nine months, they put padlock outside our door. The end of nine months, <laughs> I say, yeah. no, it cannot happen. I remember calling Pastor Esther, Pastor Chris, everyone, I said, don't pray about it. No. We have invested in us spiritually here. Let's keep doing what you are doing. This thing is already sorted in the spirit. We, we stay there for over five years. Glory to God. We won every battle. We broke the walls. The space became too small. Oh, by the third year, we could not do Sunday service there. True or false? The strength of any altar is the priest. Is the priest. Is the priest. These 21 days, take advantage to come to church. At least sometimes even one hour driving, pray. Kata, 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 go. During service time, be here. Why? Because there's something that will happen when you're here that cannot happen in your bedroom. Why? It's an altar. Look at Genesis 28. Let's look at it, sir. Genesis 28. Are we getting blessed? No, I'm getting to. Verse what, sir? Genesis 28, verse 11, yes? And he lighted upon a certain place. Go to verse 10, sir. Verse 10. Yes. Genesis 28, verse 10. And Jacob went out from Be Beersheba and went down to Haran. He went out from Beersheba and went down to Haran. Verse 11. And he lighted upon a place. Yes, verse 11. Verse 11. And he lighted upon a certain place. And tarried there all night. All night. Hmm. Because the sun was set. Was set. Hmm. And he took off the stones of that place. Hmm. And put them for his pillow, sleeping on a stone as a pillow. We thank God for Jacob. And lay down in that place to do what? Sleep. There was no prayer. He was not fasting. He was tired. Look at the next verse. Verse 12. And he dreamt. And behold, a ladder set up on the earth. And the top of it reached there to heaven. And behold, the angels of the Lord. Ay, 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 ay were ascending and descending. It was a place of spiritual traffic. Look at the next verse. Verse 13. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac. And the land, altars can be a place, and the land where thou liest to thee will I give it unto you. Glory to God. Glory to God. God spoke to Jacob because he was in a place where Abraham had offered sacrifice. So the place became an altar. And to thy seed, look at the next verse. Verse 14. And thy seed shall be as the dust of the earth. And thou shalt spread abroad to the, to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south. And in thee and thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Glory to God. Verse 15, very important. And behold, I'm with thee, and I will keep thee in all places where thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land. For I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee. Look at the next verse. And Jacob, <laughs> that's where I want to go. And Jacob did what? I waked out of his sleep. Surely, the Lord. in this place, altars can be a place. It says, and I knew not. Can I go deeper? Have you noticed sometimes when you travel to a country and you come back, things go wrong? I'm not saying don't travel. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, have you noticed that? 
Just ask. Don't just look at me as be interactive when you're in church. Every time you travel to a hero to visit, and there's nothing wrong with that, when you come back, you realize that week or a month there's some dryness, there's some confusion. How many have noticed something like that? Not all, but it happens. Two of us. Huh? Okay, let me come closer to your understanding. Do you know why January is very hard for many people? Because December, everyone travels to the village. <laughs> Nonsense. Let me tell you as it is. Okirudi January ume parara. Shame, reproach, everything about his confusion. The dreams that accompany you in January. That's why you must fast in January. At least I have to organize your heavens. Sometimes even in January you confuse verses in the book of Jacob. Why is Jacob? <laughs> Ancestors are confusing you. Because an altar can be what? Yes. A place. So let's wrap it up. Altars can be people. Altars can be things. Altars can be places. But I want us to narrow it down to the teaching of this month. It's foundations. In Deuteronomy, let's go there now. I want to start my message. Can I? Though I'm winding up. In Deuteronomy, I think chapter 29. Chapter 18. Deuteronomy chapter 18. And then we'll also look at chapter 29. Abi? Yes. Deuteronomy chapter 18 and then chapter 29. Mark these verses. We're going to use them a lot in these 21 days. Deuteronomy 28. Chapter 18, sorry. Verse, verse 10. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 10. Sir? Deuteronomy 18 verse 10. There shall not be found among you among you anyone that maketh his look son at it. or his Na, daughter. Oh, Rabba, look, look at this. Please note this verse because we are going to look at it again in Deuteronomy 29 and 2 Chronicles 33. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that useth divination, yes. or Aye. an observer of times. Please note these things. You see them repeated in chapter 33 of 2 Chronicles. Or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch. Next verse. Or a charmer. Or a consultant with familiar spirits. Or a wizard. Or a necromancer. It says for all that do these things. Are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations. The Lord thy God doeth drive them out. From before thee. Are we together? Yes. Alright. Put a pin there. Go to 2 Chronicles 33. Let's look at what Manasseh did. Second Chronicles 33. Verse 1, verse 2, and then verse 6. All right. Second Chronicles 33. Quickly, please. It says, Manasseh was 12 years. Aye, this is a curse. Woe unto you whose king is a child. We'll look at that. Now, chapter uh, 12 years. What is chapter 12? No. Manasseh was 12 old when he began to reign. He reigned 50 and 5 years in Jerusalem. Verse 2. Verse 2. But did Kai. But did that which was evil. Are we there? In the sight of the Lord. Like unto the abominations of the heathen. Whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel. Look at verse 3. Quickly please. 
verse 3. For he built again the high places which Ezekiah his father had broken down and he reared up altars for Balim and made grooves and worship all the hosts of ever. Go to the verse number 6. This one, look at it on Wednesday. Verse number 6. Verse 6, please. Look at verse 6. It says, and he caused his children to pass through fire. Hey, there is it. And he caused his children to pass through what? Do you remember the same deterrent the Bible says they pass through the fire? I will explain it. And he observed times. Do you remember the times? In Deuteronomy 18. Ah, come on. I know you're bright people. And he used enchantments. Do you remember the same enchantments? And he used witchcraft. Do you remember witchcraft? And dealt with a familiar spirit. All these things in Deuteronomy 18. And with wizards. Come on. Come on. He wrought much evil in the sight of the law to provoke him to anger. Now, chapter 29 of Deuteronomy. Then at least you can put a comma there. Wow. What a service this morning. Are we blessed? Wow. Wow. But Deuteronomy 29. I'm going to confuse scripture. Is Jonah in the boat? Deuteronomy 29. Deuteronomy 29. Yes. Verse, verse 18. Verse 18. Yes. Lest there should be among you man. There should be among you man. Or woman. Or woman. Or family. Or family. Or tribe. Or tribe. Whose heart turneth away this day from the Lord our God. To go and observe the gods of these nations. Lest there should be among you a root, root that beareth gall or wormwood. wormwood. Let, just write these things down and go meditate on them. Very important facts to note in order to deal with foundations very, very successfully. Number one, whenever you notice a pattern of people rising very high in life, or even yourself, or your parents, and then at some stage, everything seems to be going down. That is a sign that you have foundational battles to fight. If there is anything called better yester years, better yester days, oh, my father used to have money, oh, when I used to work in the airport, oh, when I... If your yesterday is sweeter than your today, and central battles have kicked in. How many have noticed that pattern? Come on, let me see your hand. We must change that narrative these 21 days. Oh, you have to use a, you used to have a rich uncle. Probably even your own, yourself used to have a lot of money. Sometimes you enter public vehicle and tears well up in your eyes because you say, this never used to be the story. That thing that took what you had and now you're living a different life is a foundational issue. Foundational powers are the ones responsible to ensure that men fall from grace to grass. And I pray these 21 days, there shall be a reprogramming in the spirit. The Lord will restore to you the years, the years, the days, the weeks, the months that the locusts have eaten. Your tomorrow shall be brighter than your yesterday. I don't like your amen. Your tomorrow shall be brighter than your yesterday. I've seen people who had money when their children were young. Now their children are in secondary. They cannot even pay house rent. They sit down and say, I wish, I wish these children were born 10 years ago. I've seen marriages break because of financial challenge. They fought and fought and fought and eventually the woman walked out of that house. Said, I cannot stay there anymore. The man became a drunkard. 
I protect what you have. I seal it with the blood of Jesus. Amen. I protect your blessings now. Amen. I seal them with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Whatever you have today yes. shall not be taken away from you. Amen. It shall not be stolen. Amen. It shall not be taken. Amen. It shall not be stolen. Amen. It shall not be taken. Amen. Somebody say, I refuse to go down. I refuse to go down. You will not go down. No. If God has blessed you now, my prayer to God for you, Amen. those blessings will remain. Amen. They will not reduce. Amen. The Lord will multiply your blessings. Amen. I don't like your amen. amen. I will not go down. I will not, I will down. not go down. I will not, I will go, not go down. down. I will not go 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 down. Bible says Elijah climbed the mountain and 50 soldiers were set and they told him, come down. Elijah said, I will not come down. He said, if I be a man of God, let fire consume you. I pray for you. Any voice from your foundation yes. that is calling you down, yes. fire consume the voice. Amen. Fire consume the voice. Amen. Fire consume the voice. I've seen cases whereby God leaves somebody in the family and then everyone in that family ensures that they suck from what he has. And after he's educated everyone in that community, he comes down. By the way, let me say this other apology. You can write to everyone, write, I don't care. I'm anointed by God. Not everyone in your family you're assigned to help them. No. Shangazi ameleta kwako. Shemeji ameleta kwako. Mtoto wa nani ameleta kwako? Somesha huyu, somesha huyu, somesha huyu, somesha huyu, lipia huyu, lipia huyu le. You don't even have a house in Nairobi. You're renting. The little God has given you. You even tell to your wife, say, you see now, we have to educate this one, we have to educate this one, and you know, educate this one, blah, blah. Your wife now is living a life that she's not lived because you are taking care of everyone in your family. I'm not saying it's wrong take care of people. Please don't get me wrong. But you should design where to throw your help. Because some of those people are covenants and altars that have come to eat what you should invest. And once they leave your compound or your life, the sources of income that you had go down. Now the people you help can no longer greet you. Then bitterness enters your heart. Now you start to struggle. All you have remained with is respect. People respect you in the family, but you have nothing to eat. What you are to invest for tomorrow, you distributed. You became Father Christmas. You know, Truly anointed people know when to say no. And let me advise you. The moment God begins to lift you financially, people will hate you. Where is Zoya Mapema? Any man who is blessed, if people will not manipulate you, they will hate you. And Napesa said, dear what? They will talk. So they can manipulate you. For you to feel guilty. He said, okay, never try to please people at the expense of your destiny. Those are evil mouths that have come to eat in your tomorrow today. No amen to that. Eh? Amen. Lord, when you get there, you remember me. I'm telling you. What I'm going through now is me, number sons and my daughters. They remember what I said then. This is the time they're coming back. Oh, man of God, pray for me. Oh, man of God, I have to suffer. Oh, man of God, I say those things. You cannot become Father Christmas in your village. You're living in one rented house in Umoja. You've just bought your first car and you're getting three people from your family. What is wrong with you? You don't help when you're weak. You become strong fast. Uh -huh. 
then in your strength you can assist. When a weak man helps a weak man, he will put them down. But when you are strong and you are lifting somebody, they will come up. You, you don't even have four sources of income. You will become Father Christmas in your family. Who bewitched us? An African setup is that if God has given you little, it's for all of us. Not Joseph Matko, I tell you. Ah, not me. Not me. Women who not took a gari, you went to Maragua, your village. The car is still on loan. They saw car. All your aunties and your uncles who never talk to you, they have come with their manifesto. You are not the government. You are living in rented house in Langata. And you are feeding everyone in the village. You are eating your tomorrow today. It's dangerous. And don't say, I never told you. Because I'm seeing that nonsense, especially in African setup. Where you find that one has one two-bedroomed house, but seven people live there. Only two bedroomed. Seven people. Three people sleep in the sitting room. The other room has two deckers. One, two, one, two. At least five people can sleep there. Your children and your relatives, they're in that room. What you don't know is ancestors and central power is very timely. What, what God has given you now, because you'll invest now, you are, you are distributing that way. Ancestors are looking at you, powers are timing. The moment everyone goes, the sources are locked. Now you shift from two bedroom to one bedroom. The people you help, you call them, they no longer answer call. Then bitterness enters, dries you even the more. May the Lord give you wisdom for life. Amen. You people should thank God for me. You have a pastor who tells you the truth. Because I know you're going through it. Do you know if you did not have the blessing God has given, no one will call you from your family. They don't like you, they like your money. Don't be deceived. Don't become a little king. Who may give a who may let us do what, what, what? Said the favor of the Lord. Okay, God, God has given me favor. There is no, it's because of what you have. Let it finish. You'll understand. So that's number one. What is this thing that will cause someone to rise? Is uncensored. Number two. Are we together? Whenever, and listen to this, whenever you have a prolonged season of financial challenge, mm -mm, mm -mm. you can go through a season but not of long continuance. If it's prolonged, one year, two years, three years, something is not working financially there is a very strong ancestral altar that is testifying against you. Deuteronomy chapter 28, it was what? It says of long continuance. A curse is that which keeps a negative season for long. Deuteronomy 28, 59. Look at it. Deuteronomy 28, 59. Sir, then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful. The Lord will make thy plagues wonderful. And the plague of thy seed. And the plagues of thy seed. Even seeds. great plagues. Of long continuance. And, and so sickness. And of long. Anything that you, you suffer for long. A sickness that now you have to be on medication. A financial challenge that for long you're not able to make your way straight. It's a sign there's a very strong ancestral battle. 
That's what these 21 days, that battle must be overthrown. Yeah. You shall live in health. Amen. You shall enjoy your life. Amen. You shall live in health. Amen. You shall enjoy your life. Amen. You shall live in health. Amen. You shall enjoy your life. Amen. For long, you realize your body has a challenge. You're managing it with, with medicine. For long, you realize now if your children don't give you something to eat, you will not eat. Rise up on your feet. I think I, we, we need to pray. We need to pray. Oh, paka taka 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 taka. Landa laba 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 laba. Lift up your right hand of fire, and with the voice of defiance, declare, "I will not go down. My business will not go down. Not go down. My career will not go My down. My home will not go down. My, My finances will not go My down. Not Begin go to down. declare. My finances will not go down." I will not go down. Go patanda la mayanda. La capanda li malatido. La catanda li malabarada. I will not go down. Declare. My business will not go down. My marriage will not go down. My finances will not go down. Jesus. I will not go down. 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 My finances will not go down. My business will not go down. My open up your mouth and declare. I will not go down. 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 My prophet. I will not go down. I will not go down. I will not go down. Declare. I will not go down. Declare. I will not go down. Declare. 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 Ancestor battle. Every ancestor battle. Assigned to demote me. Assigned to demote me. Can you pray it loud and clear? Every ancestral battle. Assigned to demote me. Make it louder than that. Every ancestral battle. Yes, yes, yes. Assigned to demote me. Patalaba, a pantaliba, a libriga, Dina, Dina, ancestral battle, Asa, to demote my love, Dina, 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 And then we pray. The Bible says they raised their voices and told Elijah, Calm down. Yes. Elijah said, If I be a man of God, let fire consume you. Begin to pray. Voices from my foundations. 
voices from my foundation speaking against my destiny speaking against my destiny be silenced by fire silenced by fire in the name be silent now. Voices on my foundation speaking against my destiny. Jesus. Be silent now. 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 Be silent. 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 There are 72 people in this service. You need to pray this prayer with everything in you. Yes. Say, arrows of sickness. Arrows of sickness. Assigned to stay long in my body. Assigned to stay long in my body. From my foundation. From my foundation. Arrows of sickness. Arrows of sickness. Assigned to stay long in my body. Assigned to stay long in my body. From my foundation. From my foundation. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My body. My body is the temple of the, the Holy Ghost. Therefore, back fire, 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 Let me pray. Mm. I want you to pray this. Say arrows from my foundations. Arrows from my foundation. A sign to demote me financially. A sign to demote me financially. Oh my God. Oh yeah, they begin, they get, they get it. Ramatama, namatama, mama. You are a liar. You are a liar. Fire. 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 Matata la paroboto. Iria pata la paroboto. Ele preke rebeli bala 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 bala. Ibre kopra. Yenda mama mo. Ibre na bala bala. Yenda mama mo. Iria bala kape de. Yenda mama mo. Matala bala bro. I will not go down. 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 I will not go I will not go down. I will not go down. Fire mansion. Back fire. Back fire. Back fire. Back fire. Back fire. Back fire. Oh, there is a breakthrough. Come and say, my father. My father. Crown my life. 
crown my life crown my life with glory with glory and honor, and honor. in the name of Jesus in the name of Go ahead Jesus. and ask your father my father my oh. father crown my head yeah. with glory with and glory. honor and honor oh, yeah. in the name with of glory. Jesus with oh, yeah. honor and honor with glory and with honor my father my with father my father my father my crown my head with honor crown my head crown it low crown my head my head crown 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 me, Lord. Crown my head. Crown the banana. Jesus. Stretch forth your hands toward this altar. Let your amen be very loud. Don't follow the tone of my voice. Just let your own be very loud. I decree over your head the assignment of demotion of ancestral power. Yes. Backfires now. Amen. Tell me be louder. Amen. Backfires now. Amen. Backfires now. Amen. The arrow yes. assigned to bring sickness. Yes. The arrow. Yes. Assigned to bring confusion. Yes. The arrow. Yes. Assigned to demote you financially. Yes. From your foundations. Yes. Backfires now. Amen. Backfires now. Amen. Backfires now. Amen. Backfires now. Amen. If your amen is louder, receive your own. Amen. Amen. Open up your mouth and thank you. Thank you, Lord. You, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 From the depth of your heart, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your breakthrough. For my breakthrough. For my victory. Thank you, Lord. 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 For my breakthrough. Thank you, Lord. 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 Breaking the power. If you're here. And you've been struggling with a particular sickness. It may not be terminal, but it's a sickness that has refused to leave your body. It's like you manage it. And has been in your body for about three years. Just walk to the front. You've been struggling with a particular condition. It, it may not be a terminal condition, but you know your medication no, is three years plus. Just make your way to the front. This thing has been with you for three years plus. This thing has been with you three years plus. You manage it. Don't even tell us what it is. Come. 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 You'll be managing it. Your healing is here. Your healing is here. You'll be managing it. Lift your hands and ask the Lord to deliver you. Those in the front, ask the Lord, Lord, remove this thing from me. Remove this thing from me. It's not mine. Remove this thing from me. Go ahead and ask the Lord. Lord, remove this thing from me. This thing is not mine. That's an arrow from your foundation. That's an arrow from your foundation. Ask him. Ask him. And those in the congregation, pray for yourself. Oh. Pray against any arrow of sickness. You can't be silent at such an atmosphere of grace. Lord, remove it. Remove it from me, Lord. Remove it, Lord. Remove it from me, Lord. Remove it from me, Lord. Let your power, Lord. In the name of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Remove it, Lord. Remove it, Lord. Remove it. Remove it from me, Lord. From my body, Lord. Remove it. Anish Kabadaba. Ebra Taka Palidaba. Ido Soprode Jedeba Labra. Lord, remove that sickness. Remove that disease. Remove it from my body. Lord, remove, remove, remove the sickness. Remove the disease. Remove the infirmity. From my body, a table kapa tata para kapa. Ibrezeke tele brada. Lord, remove it from my body. Lord, remove it from my body. Remove that sickness. Remove that disease. Remove that infirmity from my body. From my body. From my body. From my body. Lord, remove, remove infirmity. Remove sickness. From my body, Lord, remove it, remove it, remove it, remove it from my body. Lord, remove it from my body. Lord, remove it from my body. Makapata la pata ni makapata ba. Ebra to shabra kabele ba. Lord, remove it, remove it from my body. Remove it from my body. Remove the sickness. Remove the disease. Remove the sickness. Remove the disease. Remove the sickness. Remove the infirmity. Remove it from my body. Remove it from my body. Remove it from my body. Lord, remove the sickness. Sakata pa yagapa. Ebe de balaka bada bata debe de kalaba kapala. Apa kapa tapa tapa raba tapa la bada brada ba. Lord, remove the sickness. Remove the disease. Remove the infirmity. Remove the sickness. Remove the infirmity. Remove the disease. From my body, Lord, remove it from my body. 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 Remove it from my body. Remove it from my body. Lord, remove sickness. Akapata lama, reka paka pa, efregere, reka bala, brani bala ba, akapata pata pata pa, reka bala bari ba, iko panere laka ba. Lord, remove the sickness from my body. Remove the infirmity. Remove the infirmity. Remove the sickness. Remove the disease. Lord, remove it from my body. 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 Lord. Remove the sickness. Remove the sickness. Remove the sickness. Remove the disease. Remove the sickness. Remove the disease. Remove the infirmity. Remove it from my body. 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 My father, my father, remove the sickness. Remove the sickness. Remove the sickness from my body. From my body. From my body. From my body, from my body, from my body, from my body. Remove the sickness. Remove the sickness. Remove the disease. Makapa ya gadaba. Ebrege ebe de gadaba. Ibra kama kapa la bana. Ebre ebe leba kapa la bana. Remove the sickness. Remove the sickness. Remove the disease from my body. From my body. Lord, remove the sickness. Remove the sickness. Remove the disease. Remove the infirmity. Out of my body, out of my body. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Remove the sickness, Lord. Remove the disease. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hands, everyone. Divine health is my portion. Go ahead and pray. Divine health is my portion. I shall not be sick. I shall not be sick. Divine health is my portion. I shall not be sick. Divine health is my portion. I shall not be sick. I shall not be sick. I shall not be sick. Divine health is my portion. I shall not be sick. In Zion. Divine health is my portion. 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 Divine health. I cannot be sick. Just a moment. There's a lady here. I think you had an argument. Is it with your mother or with your auntie? You, 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 you're not actually in good terms even as I'm talking. You had a sharp argument. I don't know if it's your mother or your auntie. As I'm talking now, you're not in good terms with her. 
I want to pray for you because there's something she said that has become a law over your heavens. I want to break it. Where's that person? Come. Come, come, come. Come. Come here. Come here. This is not your life. This is not you. What happened? Is it your mother or is it your auntie? My mom. What happened? Dad, since I was born, my mom rejected me. And since then, I don't know what mom loves is because we normally have argument all the time. And I remember it was on 2018. I went back home to give back to my son. And she rejected me completely and my son. We normally have argument all the time. I don't know why. Let me tell you what is happening in the realm of the spirit. There is an overturning Amen. of every negative decree. Yakatababa. In the next 94 days, hear the Lord, your life shall be crowned with honor. Amen. There shall be a change. 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 Be a change. The words over your head are cancelled. A new heaven. A new heaven. Is it your mother or your auntie? auntie. What happened? Just a moment. I don't know that to tell you to see me now. I don't know you're mature to that. There is somebody here. You slept with a cousin. You're in this service. You slept with a cousin. Oh yeah, please see me before you leave this. I wish you have courage to come out now. Because it didn't happen yesterday. It happened sometimes back. But if you don't have that courage, please see me. You slept with your cousin. A covenant was enacted and is tying your life. You're looking at me. Even as I'm talking, your heart is beating very fast. If you have courage to come out now, better. Better. Better because I'm under the anointing. But if you don't have the courage, try to see me if I will see you. Try. But you're here, you slept with your cousin. Not now, sometimes back. Oh. You're looking at me. Lift your hands, everybody. Say witchcraft power. Witchcraft power over my life. Over my from my life. foundations. From my foundations. Die. Die. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Witchcraft, witchcraft power from my foundation. Following my life. Die now. 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 Witchcraft power. From my foundation, yeah. following my life, yeah. die, yeah. die, yeah. open up, yeah. die now, die now, yeah. die now, die, yeah. 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 die. I wish you could play that prayer well. Yeah. 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 Which grab powers yeah. from yeah. my foundation, pursuing my life. I love brigadier, but I'm not a bad in Jesus mighty name Turn forth your hands towards me I bless you in the name of Jesus Amen I bless your 21 days of prayer and fasting Amen The Lord will answer in the day of trouble Amen The God of Jacob will defend you Amen He will send help in time of need Amen Grace and mercy shall be your servants Amen They shall accompany you Amen They shall accompany you Amen Where judgment speaketh Yes. Grace and mercy will answer for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. One more time, thank God for your deliverance. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for my deliverance. Thank you, thank Lord. Thank God for thank your deliverance. Thank you, Lord, for my deliverance. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In thank you. Jesus, mighty name. Thank you. Please be seated. Very quickly, please have an assignment for us. Our prayers this week will be at exactly midnight.
everyone should be awake at 12 and pray. I want to open this copy for me, please, if you don't mind. There are prayers I want you to pray. I want to read for you those prayers now, now. Write them down. These are the prayers that we pray this week. They are prayers about witchcraft. These prayers are to be prayed this week at midnight. You know, fasting and prayer. Uh, there are prayers against witchcraft. If you have this book, better. Because all the prayers I'm, pr I'm praying are from this book. Yes. I'm, I'm reading the prayers from page... Page... Um, Page 98. There are 12 prayers on page 98. I want you to pray these prayers every night at midnight. Listen to the instructions. Pray in tongues for 20 minutes first. Don't just, don't, don't read them. Deep, no, 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 no. Pray in tongues for 20 minutes first. Or even a little bit more, depending on your spirit will catch up. Then after you're soaked, in tongues, then start praying these prayers. They are 12. I'll read them very fast though, because I know you can get them from the book. That's why everyone must have this book. If you don't have it, get it today on offer. Prayer number one, dip everything that is called by your name in the blood of Jesus. That's an instruction actually, it's not even a prayer point, but it's number one. Dip everything that is called by your name in the blood of Jesus. Dip everything that is called by your name in the blood of Jesus. Number two, witchcraft altars manipulating my dream life break in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft altars manipulating my dream life break in the name of Jesus. Number three, satanic intelligence. Why am I helping you? Buy the book. Buy the book. Pray. Everyone pray these prayers. And media, I don't want the nonsense. Someone is saying, can I just take a photo? It's not, that is not allowed. Guide, but pray these prayers. Page 98, there are 12. I, I cannot be chewing food every time for you. Get the book. Get the book. Nonsense. Get the book. Yeah. And make sure you pray. Because your deliverance this week is in that... If you've noticed this week, I've been carrying this book. I've been praying. That's why it's not something that has come up now. These are things that have been the spirit. Our deliverance this week, among other things, they are pegged into those 12, 12 uh, prayer points in this book. Media. No one should take a photo. If you take a photo, you are cast. How do you, how do you say, hey, man, I don't want the book. I just want to. What nonsense is that? Get the book. Media, are you hearing me? Yes. In fact, you seal them. See, the make sure no one is opening to try to look at it, take screenshot. That is, that you are stealing in church. And we are dealing with foundational powers. Ah, ah. Get the book. If you don't want to get the book, borrow from your friend. In any case, you can buy dinner, but don't want to buy a book. It's another foundational problem. If I look at your hair, the way you've done it as a lady, it's, not more, it's more than 500. True or false? True or false? Uh, get the book page. Is it 98? Yeah. You pray those prayers. You have your tithe. Quickly, please. Rise up on your feet. You're paying your tithe. You're redeeming a vow you made to God. You're offering your fast fruit, including those who are watching us online. Quickly package and come to the front. And let everyone also package their worship offering. Everyone, package your worship offering. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Quickly, Titus, make your to the front. God bless you. Those who are watching on Spirit Realm TV, but then we are back, but on Pang. Signet is the other counties. 
Nairobi County Spirit Realm TV get us on punk. Please spread the word round. We are back but on a different station. God bless you. Your time. Have you sent? Okay, let me touch phone. You are lifted. God bless you, Ma. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor. God bless you. God bless you, Ma. God bless you. God bless you, sir. God bless you in Jesus' name. Your tithe is accepted. It is accepted. It is accepted in Jesus' name. God bless you, man. Your tithe is accepted. Fire burning in my soul. Fire burning in my soul. Holy Ghost and fire. And the cause fire. Fire burning in my soul. Fire burning in my soul, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Pentecost fire, fire burning in my soul. You're reminding me of those songs. Yes, yes. Those are songs you'll be seeing these, these 21 days. Yes. They bring me closer to anointing. Yes, yes. Right. Rise up on your feet. If you don't know those songs, then you're, you're very new in deliverance. How many know those songs? Good, good, good. Now, last Sunday, I taught you about worship offering. I tell you this is not Sido. This is worship. Is it connecting with your heart? Check what you're giving. Is your heart saying, yes, this is how I want to worship the Lord? If it's not, please change it. If what you're giving not to worship, though, is not connecting to your heart. Worship offering is not seed. It's worship. You're worshiping God. It should be honorable. It should connect with your heart. Lift it up now to heaven again and thank him. Go ahead. Fire burning in my soul. Fire burning in my soul. Fire burning in my soul. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire, and the cause fire, fire burning in my soul. Lift your hands and thank Him for the offerings and for the givings. Let His name be glorified. Please go ahead and thank God one more time. From the depth of your heart, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank Him. From the depth of your heart, thank God. Thank Him from the depth of your heart. Thank Him from the depth of your heart. Thank you, Lord. This week, we are breaking our fast exactly at midday. So you're allowed to break your fast after service. On Tuesday night, we have...